Good day, my name is Kyle and allow me to present to you the chapter 1 or the advent of the national hero of Dr. Jose Rizal. Again, my name is Kyle Les Alejandro and we will now be discussing the chapter 1. So allow me to introduce to you first Dr. Jose Rizal. Um, Dr. Jose Rizal is a unique example of many splendid genius who dedicated, um, who became the greatest hero of the nation, endowed by God with versatile gifts, he truly ranked with the world's geniuses. He was a physician, uh, particularly he is a ophthalmic surgeon, and even though ophthalm ophthalmologist was not really his passion, but for the love of his country. Um, and for the love of his parents, he became an ophthalmologist and his mother, um, for the very specific reason, that his mother was turning blind and he decided to give her back her vision, just like um, how he wanted to help his countrymen from blindness by the oppressive foreign power of the Spanish player. Other than being a physician or being an ophthalmic surgeon, Dr. Rosa Rizal was a poet, dramatist, essayist, novelist, historian, architect, um, painter, sculptor, educator, uh, linguist, uh, musician, naturalist, ethnologist, surveyor, uh, engineer, farmer, businessman, economist, geographer, cartographer, bibliophile, philologist, glamourian, folklorist, philosopher, translator, inventor, magician, humorist, satirist, polymicist, sportsman, traveler, and a prophet. And above all, uh, above all and beyond, he was a, he was uh, a hero and a political martyr who consecrated his life for the redemption of his oppressed people and no wonder he is now the acclaimed as the national hero of the Philippines. So as I have mentioned earlier that Dr. Jose Rizal was a sculptor, um, here presented to you is one of his work which is the triumph of science over death which um, as you will see is the statue depicts a young nude woman with the flowing hair on a skull while bearing a torch. So itong babae ay nagre-representa ng humanity's ignorance during the history of dark ages while the torch uh, that she holds on top of on top of her head um, was represents the enlightenment that science provide um, us to the globe. And then the woman stands atop of a skull is a symbol of death uh, that represents the victory that humanity hopes to gain by a scientific growth in overcoming death's curse. Next is, of course, Dr. Jose Rizal was known for being a translator and linguist. Um, there is uh, there is a language that Rizal um, can speak, which is 22 languages to be exact, and that includes uh, Chinese, Chinese, uh, English, Russian, Chinese, uh, Greek, Hebrew, Sanskrit, Tagalog, Malay, Chabacano, Cebuano, Ilocano, Subanon, French, Latin, Greek, German. Portuguese, Italian, English, Dutch, Japanese, Arabic, and Swedish. Next is we will now be discussing the birth of the national hero. Uh, Dr. Jose Rizal was born on the moonlit night on Wednesday on June 19, 1861 between 11, p 11 to 12 p.m. at the Lake Shore town of Calamba, Laguna Province. His mother, Chodora Alonso Rialonda, almost died during the delivery because Dr. Rosel Rizal has a big head. That is why. And allow me to quote, uh, quote um, I was born in Calamba, 
on June 19, 1861 between 11 and midnight. A few days before full moon, it was Wednesday and my coming out in this veil of tears would have cost my mother her life had she not vowed to the Virgin of Antipolo to take me her to her sanctuary by the way of pilgrimage. So, um, as per him, or basis sa kanya, muntik na siya, muntik nang mamatay ang kanyang ina sa panganganak dahil nga malaki yung kanyang ulo. So, next is the birth of the, the, birth of the national hero again. Um, his name, Jose Platasio, was chosen by his mother who was a devotee of Christian saint who is Saint Joseph. While um, Saint Protasio was the patron saint for June 19 or the date of his birthday, and his nickname Pepe was explained by writer um, Felice Produnte Santa Maria on how he got his nickname. And I quote um, Saint Joseph was the putative or the commonly accepted father of Jesus Christ in Latin. In Latin, San Jose's name is always followed by the letters P and P for Pater Putative. In Spanish, the letter P is pronounced as P, giving rise to the nickname um, nickname Pepe for Jose. So, ibig sabihin, um, yung letter ng P na kasunod lagi ng pangalan ng mga santo ay binabasa ng mga Espanyol na, let, na, na P uh, dahil tayo ay kasalukuyang nasakop ng mga Espanyol ng panahon na iyon uh, kaya nagkaroon ng letrang P at P at ayun ang naging uh, ayun ang naging simula ng pagkakaroon ng uh, palayaw ni Dr. Rosarizal na P and next is the baptized in the Catholic and Dr. Rosarizal was baptized in the Catholic Church Catholic Church of his hometown on June 22, 1861, which is three days after he was born at St. Saint jo Saint John the Baptist Church and um, baptized by the parish priest, Father of the Pino Colliantes, who was a Batangueño and his godfather, um, Pedro Casanas, who is a native Calamba and a close friend of the Rizal family. And now you will be seeing on your screen is the actual photograph of the baptismal certificate of Dr. Jose Rizal. And also um, during the christening of during the christening ceremony, uh, Father Colliantes, who imp who was impressed by the Dr. Jose Rizal's big head, uh, and hold the member of the end told the member of the family that take good care of this child for someday he will become a great man. Sabi ni Father Colliantes na ingatan daw si Dr. Rosa Rizal dahil darating ang panahon na siya ay magiging isa sa mga tanyag o isa sa mga magaling na tao sa mundo. And the baptismal certificate of Rizal read as follows. Um, allow me to read it for you and I quote I, the undersigned parish priest of Calamba, certify that from the investigation made with proper authority for replacing the parish books which were burned on September 28, um, 1862 to be found in docket, one, docket number 1 of baptism page, 14, page 49, it appears by the sworn testimony of the competent witness that the that Jose Rizal Mercado is the legitimate son and of Lopo Wedlock of Don Francisco Rizal Mercado and Doña Chodora, uh, Chodora Realonda having been baptized in, pra, in, the parish, in the parish on 22nd day of June in the year 1861 by the parish priest Reverend Rupina Colliantes and Reverend Pedro Casanas being his godfather Witness my signature, Leoncio Lopez. So, it is considered that General Jose, General Jose Lemery um, is the current um, Governor General of the Philippines by that time because he governed the Philippines from February 2, 1861 to July 7, 1862. Next is the Rizal parents which is 
of course um, Francisco Mercado Rizal who was born in Binyan Laguna on May 11, 1818 who studied Latin and philosophy at the College of San Jose, Manila and died on Manila on January 5, 1898 at the age of 80. Next is Chadora Alonso de Alonda which, is, which was born in November on 8, 1826 and was educated at the College of Santa Rosa died in August 16, 1911 at the age of 85. So Francisco Engracio Rizal Mercado y Alejandro is the father of Dr. Jose Rizal. He studied Latin and philosophy at the College of San Jose in Manila. In early in early manhood following his father's death, um, lumipat sa Kalamba at naging um, tenant naging tenant or nangupahan ang kanyang ama at nangupahan ang kanyang ama sa mga Dominikano Dominikano na pagmamayaring hasyenda and he was a hardy independent minded man uh, who talk less and work more and died in Manila on January 5, 1898 at the age of 80 in his student's memoir Rizal affectionately called him as a model father Next is Doña Chodora Alonso de Alonda y Quintos, who is a well-known college for girls in the city. She was a remarkable woman, uh, possessing, refined possessing refined culture, uh, literary talent, business ability, and the fortitude of Spartan women. Rizal lovingly, lovingly said on her, uh, My mother is a woman of more than ordinary culture. She knows literature and speaks Spanish better than I. She corrected my poems and gave me and gave me good advice when when I was studying rhetoric, rhetoric. She was a mathematician and has read many books. And Doña Chadora died in Manila on August 5, August 16, 1911 at the age of 85. Next is, we will now be discussing the Rizal's children. Um, first is Saturnina, Saturnina Rizal Mercado de Hidalgo, who is Rizal's first sister, uh, who is 11 years older than her, older than him. And Saturnina Hidalgo was the eldest of the Philippine national hero, Jose Rizal, and she was born, she was married to Manuel T. Hidalgo, who is a native and one of the richest person in Tanawan, Batangas. She no, she was known as Neneng. Next is the Pashan, Next is Pasano, who is Dr. Jose Rizal's second sibling and also his first um, brother. And Pasano, who became one of the general general of the Philippine Revolution after his death, and Dr. Jose Rizal. Uh, I mean, Pasano was the character inspired by Philosopher Tasho in one of his novel, Noli Metanghere. And um, Pasano is 10 years older than him. Next is Narcisa Alonso Rizal. Or her, pet, her pet name was Cisa and she was married to Antonio Lopez, who is a nephew of Father Leoncio Lopez. And Narcisa is the second sister of Rizal, who is nine years older than him. And Narcisa was a musician and a teacher. Next is Olympia, which is uh, Rizal's third sister, who is six years older than him, died because of giving birth. And Ipia was her pet name, and she was married to Silver Sire Ubaldo, a telegraph operator from Manila. She was a Sal Mercado sister and died died of childbirth in 1887. Next is Lucia Rizal Mercado Herbosa, who is the fifth child of Don Francisco Mercado and Doña Chodora Alonso, an elder sister of the Philippine national hero. Um, Lucia is four years older than Rizal and she married Mariano Herbosa of Calamba 
And next is Maria Mercado Rialonda Rizal, who is um, sister number five of Dr. Jose Rizal, uh, who is um, two years older than him. Biang was her nickname. And Maria Rizal Mercado y Alonso Rialonda married Daniel Postino Cruz and had a five children. She passed away on September 1, 1945 in San Pablo City of Laguna. Next is, of course, Dr. Jose Protasio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Rialonda, who is the second son of Don Francisco Mercado and Doña Chidora Rialonda. Doña Chidora Alonso Rialonda. And Jose uh, is, the great, is the greatest Philippine her Filipino hero and peerless genius. His nickname was Pepe. During his exile in the Pitan, he lived with Josephine Bracken, an uh, Irish girl from Hong Kong. He had a son by her, um, but this baby boy died a few hours before. And binigyan nila yun ng pangalan ng Francisco, kasunod ng pangalan ng kanyang ama. At nilibing yun sa Dapitan. Next is Concepcion, also known as Concha, uh, was the eighth child of Rizal, uh, was the eighth child of Rizal's, who died at the age of three, and she died of, of sickness at the age of three, and her death was Rizal's first sorrow in life. And Concepcion is one year younger than him. Next is Josefa Alonso Rizal. Her pet name was Pangoy, who is four years younger than him, who is a member also of Katipunan. Her pet name again was Pangoy, and she died an old maid at the age of 80. Next is Trinidad, Trinidad, Trinidad Rizal Mercado y Alonso de Alonda, um, who is seven years younger than him. Trinin was her pet name. She died an old maid also uh, at the age of 83 in 1951. Next is the youngest sister who is Soledad Mercado Rialonda Rizal, who is also the youngest of Rizal children. Her pet name was Choleng. Soledad Mercado Rialonda Rizal married Pantaleon Quintero and had five children. She passed away on August 6, August 26, 1929 in San Roque, Cavite, Philippines. And um, Soledad is 9 years younger than Rizal. Next is the, the Rizal ancestry. Um, as a typical Filipino, Rizal was a product of mixture of races in his vein flowed um, the blood of both East and West, Negrito, Indonesian, Malay, Chinese, Japanese, and Spanish. He was a Malayan and was a magnificent specimen of Asian manhood. While studying in Manila, um, Rizal's father met Chador Alonso de Alonda and also they fell in love with each other and married on June 28, 8, um, 1848 and settled in Calamba. So, ngayon makikita nyo ang um, family tree or parang pagkakasunod-sunod o kung paano nabuo o kung paano dumating sa buhay o kung paano pinanganak si Francisco Mercado sa pagmamahalan ni Domingo Lameo Mercado na, na isang Chinese immigrant from Puken City of Changchow who arrived in Manila about 1960 he became a christian married a well-to-do a well-to-do chinese christian girl from manila named ines de la rosa and they gave birth to francisco mercado who is the son of domingo mercado and ines de la rosa who married cirila bernacha who is the elected governor silio of binyan Next, they gave birth to Juan Mercado, who is the son of Francisco Mercado and Cirila Bernaca, who married Cyril Alejandro, who is a Chinese Filipino mestiza. Next is Francisco Mercado, who is now the father of Dr. Ceresa. Next is the Chadora Alonso de Alonda side, who is, um, here is Eugenio Orsuha, who is a Japanese. 
who married Benigna, who is a Filipina, and they gave birth to Regina, and who married Manuel de Quintos, who is a Filipino-Chinese lawyer from Pangasinan, and they gave birth to Brigida, who married Lorenzo Alberto Alonso, who is a prominent Spanish mestizo of Binyan, and they gave birth to Chadora Alonso Rialonda, the mother of Dr. Jose Rizal. So the surname Rizal, the surname Rizal was Mercado, uh, which was adopted in 1731 by Domingo Lameo, which is his great-great-grandfather, who is a full-blooded Chinese. Rizal family acquired the second name Rizal, uh, which are given by the Spanish Alcalde Mayor of Laguna, who is also a friend because um, Rizal's or the Mercado's surname was really familiar o na maraming tao ang gumagamit ng apelidong Mercado kaya napag na or hinaing, hinaing suwestyon ng Alcalde Mayor na gawing Rizal ang kanilang apelido. So, um, I will now be discussing to you um, pagkakakonstruct ng pangalan ni Dr. Jose Rizal which is again Jose Protasio which came from St. Joseph and St. Protasio and Rizal um, Rizal family acquired a second surname again Rizal which are given by the Spanish Alcalde Mayor of Laguna who is a family friend and Mercado being the um, surname of Francisco Mercado and Alonso Rialonda who is the um, surname of Chodora Alonso Rialonda where Rialonda came from Dona Chodora's godmother and just in case you are curious with the letters Y um, that means is the two surname can be separated by Y the two, the two surname can be separated by Y meaning N so, kung ang pangalan ko ay Kyle S. Alejandro or Kyle Santos Alejandro, pwede kong gawin ang letrang Y para ipaghiwalay ang Santos at Alejandro. Kyle Santos E. Alejandro. Next is the Rizal home. The house of, uh, the, the house of Rizal family where the hero was born was, was one of the distinguished um, stone houses in Calamba during the Spanish Spanish times it was is two it was two story building uh, rectangular in shape built of adobe stones and hardwoods and roof with red tiles as you can see yung bahay nga nila isa sa mga pinakamalaki meron silang bakuran kung pwede saan maglaro yung kanyang mga kapatid at syempre siya at ang kanilang bakuran ay um, punong puno ng mga pananim Sunod is a good and middle class family. The Rizal family belonged to the Principalia or one of the distinguished family uh, during that time. A town in aristocracy in Spanish Philippines, it was the most distinguished family in Calamba. Rizal family able to live as well as fruit of hard work of being honest and frugal living. From the farms where they harvest rice, as I mentioned earlier, that yung kanilang bakuran ay punong-puno ng mga pananim. Nagpapatayo rin sila ng, ay, nagpapalaki sila ng mga baboy, um, manok, at pabo. At, isa sa mga indikasyon na ikaw ay isa sa, isa sa mga principalia or isa sa mga distinguished family, nung araw na yon pag ikaw ay mayroong kalesa or karuwahe, at ang pamilya ni Rizal ay merong non kagaya na tong nakikita nyo sa naraban at, all, at meron din silang sariling pribadong library or na kung saan pwede silang mag-aral um, the home life home life of Rizal um, the, Rizal fa the Rizal family had a simple, contented, and happy life. Uh, masasabi nga na isa ang pamilyang Rizal sa mga masasayang pamilya, edukado at na mga mabubuting tao. In consonance with the Filipino custom, family ties among Rizal were intimately close. Both Don Francisco Mercado and Chodora Alia um, Chodora Alonso Rialonda loved their children. However, they are not being raised. Um, they are being to be raised in a good way that they were not being spoiled. 
So nan, pinap, sabi nga, sabi sa history, pinapal um, pinalaki raw yung mga anak ni Doña Chodora Alonso at uh, Don Francisco ang anak nila nang tama at kahit kailan hindi nila kinukonsente ang kanilang mga pagkakamali dahil naniniwala ang pamilya na spare the rod or spoil the children or if the children were not physically punished or kung hindi pinaparusahan ang isang bata pag nagkakamali ay lalaki, lalaki itong hindi na de-develop ang kanyang personalidad o hindi lalaki ang bata na nalalaman ang tama o mali dito na nagtatapos ang chapter 1 or the advent of the national hero again my name is Kyle and maraming salamat sa pakikinig